In this video I'm going to show you how to adjust for magnetic declination using the fixed scale on a base plate or mirror base plate compass. My name is Dave, this is the Humble Trekker channel, let's get into it. If you want to get the most out of this video you should already know basic navigation techniques using a base plate compass. You can watch my video where I demonstrate the silver 123 method, there's a link to that in the description box or on the screen. You should also have a basic understanding of the concepts of magnetic declination and how that affects navigation. When we talk about the fixed scale for magnetic declination on a base plate compass, we mean this scale inside the housing. They're very similar on many different base plate compasses from many different manufacturers. This is a silver compass. If you've got a silver compass, this is how it will look. It's this red scale which runs from 60 degrees to 60 degrees on each side and it's marked W declination and E declination. That's the fixed scale we're talking about, the red one inside the housing. I will divide this instruction into two parts. Part one is when you go from map to the field, so you know a bearing from the map and you want to put that onto your compass and follow the path. Part two, when you take a bearing using your compass and you want to take that bearing and transfer it to a map line. So let's say we're going to do this exercise in an area where the declination is 20 degrees east. When going from map to field, you do steps one and two of the silver one, two, three method as normal. But before you get to step three, there's an additional thing to take care of. Now you bring out your compass after step two, and instead of moving the red magnetic needle into the north arrow, you orientate the entire compass so that the red magnetic needle points at your declination amount on that fixed red scale, in this case 20 degrees east. And now you move the entire the round bezel, the housing, the rotating round part so that the red north sits over the magnetic needle. Now, wherever the marching needle is pointing towards, that's the direction you need to follow. Let's look at that in close up. In this example, we've done steps one and two on the map, and our compass ends up looking like this. We want to march due south, that's the direction we've got at. So you can see because S 180 degrees is aligned with the marching arrow. Now normally what we would do is move the entire compass so that the red magnetic needle sits within the red north arrow. But we're actually going to take an intermediate step to take account of the 20 degrees east declination. We rotate the entire compass so that the magnetic needle points at the value of declination for our area, in this case 20 degrees east. So we rotate the entire compass so that the magnetic needle points at 20 degrees east. Then we take the rotating housing and we rotate that until the red north arrow lays over the magnetic needle. Now you will see that our bearing has changed from 180 degrees to 160 degrees. If we now follow the direction of the marching arrow, we will be walking directly south. We have successfully adjusted for magnetic declination. Of course, whatever your declination value is, follow the exact same process, it's just a different value. We can now look at part two, taking a field bearing and transferring that to a map and taking account of the magnetic declination. Normally what you do, you point your marching arrow at a landmark of the direction that you wish to know. And you would place, you would turn the moving round housing so that the magnetic needle sits within the red north arrow. And then you can take your compass, move it to your map, draw a line based on the reading there. If you want to take account for the magnetic declination, 
you don't put the magnetic needle inside the red north arrow. Instead, you point it at the amount of magnetic declination using the fixed red uh, scale within the housing instead. So you don't put it within the red arrow. You point instead the magnetic needle at the value of declination, in this case, 20 degrees east. So you point at a landmark. That's the direction I want to know. If I was to put it into the magnetic arrow over the red north arrow, that would give me the magnetic bearing. But I want to know the map bearing. So instead I point, I turn the housing until the red magnetic needle points at 20 degrees east. Now the value I get lined up with the marching um, arrow is in fact a map bearing adjusted for the declination. This will become clear in close up. To adjust for the magnetic declination when going from field to map, you point your marching arrow at the landmark which is the direction that you want to know. Now normally, not adjusting for declination, you'd simply move your magnetic needle so it aligns with the red arrow, the red north arrow. And then you'd read off from the scale here or take it to your map and you'd see that in this case I'll round it to 150 degrees. That doesn't take into account magnetic declination. For our area that we are assuming for this exercise is 20 degrees east, to get a true bearing, a true map bearing that you can transfer to your map and give you a correct direction, instead of putting a magnetic needle inside the red north arrow, you point it at 20 degrees east on that red fixed scale inside the bezel. And now we read 170. A 20 degree difference. You transfer 170 degrees to your map and that will give you a true direction in terms of your map taking into account the magnetic declination. That's how you adjust for declination using a fixed scale on a base plate compass or a base plate mirror compass. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take it easy.